Eight or nine yards back to the line of scrimmage. D'Souza left foot to through for the opening score of the game. And of course, North Andover has that field goal by D'Souza, giving them a lead. <laughs> Inside hand off the other way. And scrambling. <laughs> a beautiful run for a score, a touchdown. D'Souza with a kick. Merrimack Valley. Intercepted beautifully and running in the open field has only one man, number two, to beat and he does bring him down. So that is the first half. And so the ball, ball is spotted just outside of the 10 yard line. And it's fourth down. Fourth and about eight. And so Lawrence will be kicking to D'Souza or, and the ball is snapped in through the end zone and out of the end zone. So, the safety. And I would think that's the end of the third quarter. You want to come out of this with something. And burn time. And what we come up with is the reverse of uh, the inside handoff. And J.D. Allen runs the ball into the end zone. <laughs> And D'Souza kicks it through. Spread offense again. For Lawrence, it's fourth down. They have no, nothing to do except go for it here. A high snap, timing thrown off. Scramble left, he's covered. And another batted ball by the backfield of the Scarlet Knights. And when it was all said and done, the Knights added to their perfect record, notching another victory with the 19 nothing shutout over Lawrence. One receiver to the near side, man in motion. That's terrific reception. That's J.D. Allen, who else? Valuable player, it looks like 44 Coles is the up back, the fullback. JD inside to a, yes, and that is that is a touchdown by Darren Watson. First and goal from the four with 135 to go in the half. 
Watson in motion, takes the pitch. He has an opening and he's in. Watson scores. He, uh, he delayed setting up his blockers, looking for the opening created not by his speed, but by the blockers. Patience and the judgment prevailed because he was able to find a way to get in. D'Souza, left footed kicker for the extra point. 13 and now 14. The Knights with two touchdowns, 14. Three trips to the left. There we go. Ball well thrown to Souza in the open. And touchdown, touchdown! North Andover Knight. We absorb a small penalty. This would not be significant. A high snap. The kick is up, and the kick is good. D'Souza works a miracle. He's happy. There's a fullback. Ball for Watson. Inside, makes a nice move, and he's in. North Andover Knights. The Scarlet Knights are on the board. Gabe D'Souza the kick. North Andover on the board. Seven to nothing. It's good. Under center again. And McElroy makes the makes it outside running for the corner and has the pylon. So North Andover wastes no time in striking back. A beautiful night here. A lot of North Andover fans. Oh, oh, and a fantastic interception. The ball just sailed over Simpson's head. <laughs> and uh, brought down by Walsh. McElroy to Gabe, just splits three defenders. A beautifully thrown ball by McElroy. Although maybe they were just holding it for the latter part of the season. You don't want to throw all your cards in the first few weeks. Break it back on the field. McElroy. Surveying the defense, puts his hands up, ball, receive a wide open in the middle, evades three defenders in the zone, runs into the middle of the wide open field, and McElroy gives them a second look, releases the ball, and uh, he Watson just has to run under it. So uh, Samanak being back, and intercepting that ball was a, a, a definitive play. A turning point of the game, if you will, a statement. McElroy wide open. Got a wide open receiver. J.D. Allen with a score. The Scarlet Knights of North Andover High School, 35, and Drake it, 7. So, ball handed inside, wide open, and, and in to score. North Andover with the same formation. McElroy back, looking for someone in the middle. There he is. I think that's Watson. Yeah. This could be a run, but a pass into the corner, and he's open, and a touchdown. There's a pitch, and 
think that's to Souza, and I believe he's in. Although he is now limping severely. I got run again here. McElroy, a keeper. He is either close or in. It's he in. Is in. It's in. Quarterback calls his own number. Let's see what happens here. You could even quarterback sneak it, and I believe he's in easily. Runs between the, the center and the guard. They're looking at fourth down and 20, but down this far with this much time left, this is four down territory. Uh, yes, go back, uh, roll out, and throw it up. There it is. Picked. And picked off. <laughs> and it's D'Souza. That's it. final score is your North Andover Knights 34 and the Waltham Hawks 20. Tonight, the Knights continue on their road through the MIAA tournament as they face the Lions of Chelmsford. You would think a pass play here. Mm -hmm. Gabe Watson out to the right here in the slot. Now watch out for the blitz again though. They've chased him out of the pocket the last couple of times. Darren Watson. Touchdown! Touchdown. Just ran right by the defender. Oh, I think he's just stopped short. It looks like he was. Yeah, D'Souza stopped. Oh, no, he's in. Well, that's Chumsford amazing. Chelmsford was saying we stopped and we stopped him, but it took a closer look. Referees throw up the arms. That's in, so that's, yeah. that's eight to seven. Middle linebacker looks like he's going to blitz. Flag. Flag down, ball. It looks like he got it's a it. catch. But what's that's, the flag? That's a touchdown, but there was a flag. North Andover uh, faked uh, blitz up the middle. It may have drawn someone off, although the official here is calling a touchdown. So perhaps we were offside. Third in electrons right now. So McElroy pushing in the middle. North Andover again with the he hands up. And they give it to him. He did get in. He squeezed between the center and the guard. 15-yard line, first and 10 for the Scarlet Knights in the red zone. McElroy in the corner. Bingo! Wide open, touchdown. Touchdown, North There's Andover. There's a flag, though. Third and 12, actually. It should be third and eight. Turn it over. Third and 12, I was going to say. And that ball is intercepted. Picked. Intercepted. Inside handoff. That's a touchdown. A touchdown. Jake McElroy calling his own number once exactly. again. Exactly. And fake the handoff and the keeper. Coles in. Back to pass. Looking for the corner. <laughs> Caught. Wow. Caught. A touchdown. similar play. Caught by Gabe with two defenders draped all over him. Snap to Hooten, gives it to Lapoli, and he's swarmed. He stopped. Swarmed. They got him. An incredible goal line stand. And so we have a final score. Now the score is North Andover 35 and Chelmsford 33. So here we go once again, second and 10 now from the Lincoln Sudbury 45 yard line. And they've got receivers out to either side. McElroy in the shotgun. They've actually got trips left this time. And here we go. McElroy with it once again. He's looking once again. He's on the run. And he's just going to call his own number and take it and gain some yardage himself before he's belted out of bounds. And they're going to move the sticks once again as that's another North Andover first down. He's got D'Souza in motion. And the snap goes. Oh, he's going to throw it. Big throw. And he's got J.D. Allen. J.D. Allen's got it. He gets some yards after the catch, too, and then gets brought down in Lincoln Sudbury territory. Allen right there with a huge catch. Getting set, he's in the shotgun. Goes back, he's gonna throw it again. He just lets it go again. Watson's got it, runs past the defender, and he's into the end zone. So we asked, how are they gonna respond? Two plays from scrimmage, huge pass to J.D. Allen, and then a touchdown strike for 25 yards to Darren Watson. Today, it's the Andover Golden Warriors coming to town to take on the North Andover Scarlet Knights. 
number yet to go up on the. Uh, yeah, no, that's there, uh, there that, that's a touchdown. Jake wants it in motion, gives it to Defoe, and he's in. He's a big back, strong <laughs> linebacker, a contributor. Not to mention the better you can sell the run, the better you can do with the play action like he tried before with that yes. pass to Watson. So we are going for two. Everyone spread wide. <laughs> oh, nice. A fake. <laughs> Bit of razzle-dazzle. fake handoff, and a razzle-dazzle hid the ball momentarily and long enough for everyone to tackle the person without the ball. Okay, so Jake has Defoe wide out, pitches the ball to Watson. We want to give it to him so he can go in, and it looks like he does. He's in. Touchdown. Touch Touchdown, Watson. Watson in motion. J.D. Allen wide open. Three defenders in the area, but no one actually covering him. And it's J.D. with the TD. TD, J.D. Kicks, it's up. That's good. It is nicely straight done. Straight through, a beautiful, nicely beautiful done. approach to the ball. Classic form, kicks it through with plenty to spare. That was an excellent kick. That was number 17, Kaylee Toomey. Three receivers this way, it is a pass. Pattern, looking for the wide man. And Watson almost got the interception. Watson almost had the interception, and he, he had the receiver fall on the back of his legs as part of the play. Watson limping out to the far side. Gavin with the fake. And touchdown. There we go again. And uh, was that Defoe? Yes. The final score, the North Andover Scarlet Knights 33 and the Andover Golden Warriors 7. <laughs>